He was an example of a good soldier who did his duty to the fullest. Today, Coronado celebrated the life of one of its own. Staff Sergeant Tom Rice, a World War II hero who never stopped serving. ABC 10 News photojournalist Drew Miller and reporter Sierra Encinas takes us inside the celebration of life. A service to remember an American hero. My name is Thomas M. Rice. I'm from Coronado, California. World War II paratrooper Staff Sergeant Tom Rice passed away at 101 years old. His first combat jump was on D-Day, the first baptism of fire for the 101st Airborne. He was wounded four times during World War II and came home in 1945, but his service never ended. Tom found his greatest value in giving his life to others. He served in many different capacities, touching lives from all around the world. As a teacher for decades, Mr. Rice was one of the best teachers I ever had in my entire life. He knew me as Woody. First of all, he was my teacher, so I totally respect him, but he was like the grandfather I never had. And he just was so loving and so, so knowledgeable. And his love of our country was embedded in, in every student in that class. A neighbor. He showed me kind of how to live. He, he was a guy who literally, literally is digging holes and ditches, planting plants in his front yard at 100 years old. A friend to fellow World War II vets. We, we started the Three Musketeers. We buy Three Musketeer bars <laughs> and eat them. And it was a, an honor for me. I, I don't know about Andre, but I loved it. And as a 101st Airborne paratrooper until the very end. Uh, I am the guy who parachuted with Tom Rice in Normandy in 2019. Also jumped with him for his 100th birthday here in Coronado. He's a great friend and an inspiration. He completed his final jump last year in his hometown, surrounded by cheering loved ones. But Tom had one final mission the last years of his life, telling the story of his fallen comrades and about the price and cost of freedom. That guy was, he's my hero. His legacy will long outlive him. Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News.